There's a raccoon behind my house who's particularly skittish and strange. His hair is a mess, so he likes to keep it short. He tests his own limits for sport. I can't help but see my good friend David in the raccoon behind my house. I don't think he'll be fond of the song, but I gotta get through. Someone so headstrong, so sing along if you think you know what David and we'll stand in solidarity. Cause David's the best, he takes care of everybody except for David, as you will see. Sing along if you see the raccoon who you wonder how he could be so happy. This song might not be the kindest, but I had to write it when I saw him on the rubbish heap. We sow what we reap, but we all can agree <laughs> that David needs some sleep. Yeah, he does. Woo. I sang the wrong words, you guys. Well, of course you did. It's always the tenors. I approached the raccoon living behind my house. He hardly heard my boots on the ground. When I got too close, the poor guy just froze and nearly choked on the paper towel he found. He stared me down just to be polite. Then he ran away and chipped on the way down. The next day, I went to the coffee house. Except for David, as you will see. So sing along if you see the raccoon. Do you wonder how he could be so happy? This song might not be the kindest, but I had to write it when I saw him on the rubbish heap. Not the rubbish heap. <laughs> so we agree, but we all can agree that David needs some sleep. Hello? Why do they look like that? Why do they look like that? Why do raccoons look like that? And why do they have so many hands? With thumbs, they don't need thumbs. Why do they have thumbs? I just decided I don't like them.